Hey everyone and welcome to another episode about the LEGO Train Automated Container Terminal. I'm busy determining the uh, train and monorail layout and I came across a problem which I already feared and that is we do not have enough room to place the uh, cranes uh, on opposite sides of the room. So um, the problem is that there needs to be a certain distance between the tra cranes because uh, the train that you see here is in the middle between two monorails and it has to go underneath it. So uh, there needs to be a ramp that's going up, which you see here, but there needs to be a ramp that's going down. And there's not enough room to connect these two together. So um, back on that later, first I'm going to show you uh, the monorail ramp. Because normally a monorail ramp isn't uh, high enough to put a train underneath. It's built for a monorail which is way lower than a train. So uh, 4D Bricks came up uh, with an idea and that was a ramp extension piece. It's 3D printed and that's what you see here. Now they don't sell it right now because they're in, in a transition of uh, supplying files for 3D printers. But I got this like four years ago and uh, I'm very happy I have it already in stock so I can use it so that's why the ramp becomes a bit higher and the train can pass underneath it downside is of course that the ramp also becomes a bit longer but even without the additional piece on the ramp I do not think there's enough room to actually make this layout like this work so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it diagonally. That means that I'm going to put the red crane all the way in that angle over there and then run the whole thing diagonally to the blue crane. And I hope I have enough room because here is the end. Well, it's not exactly the end of my room. There's still some uh, room here, but I do not want to go all the way to uh, this corner here as I need uh, to have some uh, moving space as well. So um, let's try and see if that works. So I managed to uh, connect the whole thing together and as you can see it uh, fits more or less. Um, I don't like it very much like it fits now because I wanted to use a white backdrop on this wall. And as you can see with the uh, blue crane it's sticking out now. I cannot make it go all the way through here. I need to make a angle and I, wanna, I don't want to do that. So I need to find some more space. And then I was looking at the uh, S-curve that you see here. And of course I can make it already start more underneath the blue crane. Now, I don't know if I can make it look nice as uh, the, yeah, it's curved and the, uh, the tiles are not curved. So maybe, uh, I don't know yet. I, have to, I just have to see. And I was thinking about maybe I can also get some space over here, additional space by moving the ramps a bit more to the left. But then I thought like, I do not think it'll look nice if I move it, move them a bit more to the left. So I'm leaving that option out for now. Um, of course, I'm gonna tile up the thing underneath the, uh, the ramps, but moving them more to the left, no, that won't do any good to the uh, crane and the whole uh, view of it. Now, the last thing I can, uh, maybe make some additional space is over here. As you can see, I've used a uh, eight stud extended part and that is because I cannot use the curve right away. As you can see on this here, the curve starts to bend here, doesn't fit here. So I need to uh, remove some parts and then I can, uh, I can start the curvature right away. And then uh, also uh, the train curve will be a bit more tight so I can win another, maybe this part here, 16 studs or something. So yes, I'm really at that level now that I'm uh, counting studs to uh, make it all fit. But if I do so, standing here, maybe I can get away with it to make it straight again and not diagonally anymore. So that could be, uh, that could be a, it's, it's, it's not ideal to have it like this. So um, yeah, let's try that. We're gonna, put the cranes a bit closer to each other and see how that looks. So uh, I installed the, uh, the S-curve over here. Need some detailing of course, but uh, it now starts to bend a bit sooner. And uh, on this part here, the curve 
actually fit it in between so uh, no changes here I could remove the uh, 16 stud section here from the uh, train track so that saves uh, some space as well so I pushed it all the way to the back there can be a backdrop here which I need to uh, fix on the uh, closet of course otherwise uh, it can come down that actually happens with the 80s, uh, uh, 80s layout that I was working on big uh, yeah that was a big deal but if a backdrop you know wouldn't play it like that if it falls down on a crane like this I'll just die I believe because then it's over and done so I need to be very careful if I'm gonna use backdrops I'm not sure yet so uh, let's test the monorail and see if it actually works so I made a uh, power functions battery box that you see here with a splitter cable and uh, that goes to the uh, monorail uh, system and to the light now let's enable it look at it going oh oh that didn't go very well what happened oh ah oh, oh, i didn't think of that <laughs> there was a reason why the track was straight underneath the crane because the monorail has to be straight to put a container on top of it <laughs> so this is definitely not going to work uh, I didn't think of that how dumb can one be all right um, I'm gonna send the monorail back and then uh, I'm gonna change it back to its original position and then yeah I, I, I don't think it's gonna fit straight like now need to go back to diagonal I believe unfortunately but Let's see, let's move this one back. Uh, here we go. Yeah, it was hitting the thing here, the support. And it's back. So we've seen some monorail action, but yeah, this is not going to work. So I need to change it back and um, figure something out. I do like this straight fit like it is now, but, but it won't be. Uh, an option unfortunately back to the drawing board and this is how it looks with the s curve restored as you can see i'm almost under the desk so um it needs to, the, the blue crane needs to go to the right a bit but i do not know how i can make something out here you know uh move the ramp a bit like i said which i didn't like and i can move the curve a bit move the whole red crane a bit in, uh, into the closet then I cannot use a backdrop but who cares it's white already so no problem but I could only win like 20 centimeters and when you have a look at here then you see that um, the back of the building would be at when the 20 mark is where the 20 mark is right here so it would give me some give me some extra space but not that much and I was thinking like, okay, it could be an option, but I want to explore other options. Another option would be that I don't place the cranes like this against each other, but I can place them in an angle. For example, red crane all the way in the angle there. And then I make a 90 degree turn or something. It won't fit lengthwise, but we'll fix that. And I place the blue crane over there. So you get a 90 degree with some monorail going on. I don't know yet. That could be an option. Uh, another option would be next to each other. But if I place the cranes next to each other, that means that I need to make a U-turn here to there. Place the blue crane, which is here, to there. <sighs> yeah, well, that would work as well, I think yeah let's try that let's see how it looks and this is how it looks when both cranes are next to each other and i can actually live with this so um, i first try to uh, go up with the monorail track come down again uh, that part would be then on the floor somewhere around here all the way there go up again go down again and then enter the blue crane now that took a very uh, large amount of monorail parts and it also uh, made the track very long since monorails aren't very fast i want to go uh, 
to do that uh, I wanted to keep the, the track as short as possible so um, that's it so this is the setup that I'm going to use and as you can see this setup also is perfect for shooting a video when both cranes are actually doing their thing so that's going to be an awesome shot so I'm quite happy with the result now maybe you see in the middle a few pneumatic monorail points laying well these monorail points are going to be used for something uh, there's going to be a shed somewhere a maintenance <laughs> shed. sorry a maintenance shed or something like that i don't know yet so that's going to be on the next episode then we're gonna finish the uh, the layout and then we're also uh, gonna see where i can put the monorail maintenance shed and uh, how we're gonna do the thing with uh, with the trains because there there needs to be a train yard or something i used it in a in a cold terminal video as well way back and um so th th there's a place where i can park the trains automatically and start up the trains when when they're full or empty whatever and make a uh, a cycle going so um next episode will be also about this layout but uh, we're getting there somewhere and of course the the red part will be uh changed into other parts so um and there's some uh, work on that as well all right well thank you for watching i hope you liked this episode if you do so please drop me a like if you have any questions please let me know and uh, otherwise i'm gonna see you in the next episode bye